Gerald R. Ford, USS. What a what a place. It's almost it really. The U.S. Navy is a relentless force committed to fortifying the country's defenses and leading groundbreaking technologies in warcraft. Recently, the U.S. Navy revealed they've created something terrifying, which alarmed SpaceX chief engineer Elon Musk. The awe-inspiring new weapon now at the forefront of the Navy's unparalleled arsenal is the USS Gerald R. Ford. This colossal vessel is the epitome of American naval supremacy, signaling a shift in the tides of naval warfare. As it graces the seas, Russia and other potential adversaries face an unprecedented challenge, poised to test their strength like never before. What does this vessel look like? What does it do? And what does its addition to the U.S. naval fleet mean? Join us on an intriguing adventure as we explore the USS Gerald R. Ford's engineering prowess and its cutting-edge weapons. Before we dive deep into this discussion, it is crucial to look at the arsenals and defense systems of other world powers. In naval warfare, Russia and China stand out as serious competitors of the U.S. To resist potential threats and uphold its military superiority, each country has distinct assets and techniques. With its highly advanced laser defensive systems and sophisticated aircraft carriers, the United States shows its dedication to innovation and technological dominance. Thanks to these systems, the U.S. Navy can secure its fleet and project power as it detects and intercepts threats, such as hypersonic missiles. Its commitment to staying ahead of its enemies is evidenced by the substantial funding and research on hypersonic missiles and directed energy weapons. On the other hand, Russia has a long history of technological achievements and military supremacy. It has invested in developing hypersonic missiles, completing testing, and obtaining astounding speeds. Its Avangard and Zircon hypersonic missiles are a considerable threat to potential opponents. These missiles are incredibly challenging to intercept since they are built to avoid conventional defense systems. Additionally, the naval fleet of Russia is made up of strong nuclear-powered submarines outfitted with ballistic missiles that can covertly and accurately strike their targets. China has also led the development of hypersonic missiles and naval warfare. It has used its expanding military power to fight against American maritime control in the Asia-Pacific region. Advanced anti-ship ballistic missiles from China's arsenal, such as the DF-21D and DF-26, are programmed to hit aircraft carriers and other high-value targets. These missiles could wreak long-range havoc because they have a range of more than 1,500 kilometers. China has also significantly invested in growing its naval fleet, with a focus on submarines and aircraft carriers. The Type 001A, its first locally produced aircraft carrier, marks a notable accomplishment for its naval aspirations. The capabilities of China's submarine fleet, particularly its nuclear-powered attack submarines, have improved for both offensive and defensive missions. The competition for supremacy in naval combat is growing, even though the US, Russia, and China each have their advantages and tactics. The development of modern naval assets, laser defense systems, and hypersonic missiles shows the importance of maintaining a potent naval presence and projecting power across the seas. Constant innovation, adaptation, and investment in advanced technologies are required due to the changing dynamics of naval combat. This need for constant innovation has pushed the U.S. Navy to create one of the deadliest and most powerful weapons imaginable. Let's explore the USS Gerald R. Ford, the most recent addition to the U.S. Navy's impressive arsenal. The United States' affinity for expensive weapons capable of unleashing mass destruction is no secret. Therefore, it shouldn't be surprising to hear that they created the USS Gerald R. Ford, this mammoth warship surpassing all others in size and cost, is the backbone of the U.S. Navy's strategic preparations for potential conflicts. The USS Gerald R. Ford stands as a floating fortress, housing many unimaginably potent weapons that solidify its position as an unstoppable force. This indomitable vessel has assumed its rightful place within the esteemed U.S. Naval Fleet, 
having surmounted many challenges and weathered the storm of protracted development. The USS Gerald R. Ford Command's deserved attention with its nine towering stories. Weighing a mind-boggling 97,000 tons, this behemoth of the seas evokes a profound sense of awe. Its very presence sends tremors through the hearts of adversaries, for it represents an unparalleled embodiment of sheer might. Yet, its capabilities transcends its dimensions. The USS Gerald R. Ford symbolizes the culmination of a strenuous 21-year project, transforming a modest concept into a breathtakingly glorious reality. Ensuring the seaworthiness of this colossal warship has been a top priority, and extensive training exercises involving various aircraft and carriers have taken place over the past few months. The USS Gerald R. Ford has undergone rigorous testing to ensure it conforms to the highest standards. During the final testing exercise, known as Comp2X, or Composite Training Unit Exercise, the ship worked with other fleet members to demonstrate its capabilities. The USS Gerald R. Ford passed this exercise with flying colors, thus obtaining all the necessary certifications. The journey leading up to this point has not been without its fair share of challenges. The immense size of the warship amplified the complexities encountered during construction, resulting in significant delays and cost overruns. In the past decade, the project witnessed a series of setbacks, including debates over upgraded components such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, advanced weapons elevators, and advanced arresting gear. These issues sparked disagreements among lawmakers and even caught the attention of President Donald Trump. However, those tribulations are now a thing of the past. The USS Gerald R. Ford takes center stage as a magnificent spectacle within the U.S. Navy fleet and is ready to be assigned to a combatant commander. Its systems are reliable and capable of operating with pinpoint precision. The USS Gerald R. Ford's reliability and precision stem from its advanced systems, including the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, emails, for smooth and tailored aircraft launches, advanced weapons elevators for efficient munition transport, and the advanced arresting gear, AAG, for safe and precise aircraft landings. State-of-the-art radar and sensor systems provide comprehensive situational awareness, while the integrated power system, IPS, optimizes power distribution. With its nuclear propulsion and advanced firefighting systems, the carrier ensures virtually unlimited range, energy efficiency, and crew safety. These cutting-edge technologies, coupled with skilled personnel, make the USS Gerald R. Ford a formidable asset within the U.S. Navy fleet. Despite the advanced systems on board the USS Gerald R. Ford, the U.S. Navy saw the need to incorporate hypersonic missiles to bolster its offensive capabilities and respond effectively to emerging threats. Recognizing their immense potential, military leaders have made hypersonic missiles a top priority, solidifying their importance in the Pentagon's 2024 budget proposal, which is currently under scrutiny in Congress. The proposal seeks a substantial investment of $11 billion solely dedicated to developing and acquiring hypersonic and long-range missiles. The proposed investment is a testament to the Navy's unwavering commitment to keeping America safe. Building upon successful tests conducted over the past year, the Navy confidently presents its funding request with a promise to deliver 24 fully functional hypersonic missiles. The results of these tests have been remarkable showing the potential of hypersonic missiles to destroy their targets in just 30 seconds. There is no denying these figures are incredible. However, we must be patient because developing these advanced missiles is an ongoing process that needs time for thorough research and refinement. Yet the pace at which China and Russia move makes it critical to inject some urgency into the process. Russia ever at the forefront of military advancements, has already demonstrated the devastating impact of hypersonic missiles in its attack on Ukraine. Also, in a recent intelligence leak, China emerges as a significant contender in the hypersonic missile race, raising eyebrows with its undisclosed test of the experimental DF-27 ICBM. If the authenticity of the leaked document is confirmed, then China has successfully developed a hypersonic missile that can penetrate U.S. missile defense systems. This is an alarming revelation, to say the least. 
These developments underscore the significance of the U.S. Navy's pursuit of hypersonic missile technology. While the missiles are still in the developmental phase, the race to catch up with Russia and China is intensifying. The U.S. Navy remains steadfast in ensuring America's security and military superiority. The road ahead may be challenging, but the potential of hypersonic missiles to reshape the dynamics of future conflicts is undeniable. The ongoing research and development efforts aim to equip the U.S. Navy with the capabilities necessary to defend against emerging threats and maintain a position of strength in an ever-evolving global landscape. When confronted with the daunting challenge of countering hypersonic missiles, it may seem implausible for the 97,000-ton USS Gerald to stand a chance, especially when these missiles are moving at mind-boggling speeds exceeding Mach 5. However, the United States possesses an unconventional solution, lasers. They are a cost-effective and technologically brilliant answer, a light-speed response to an otherwise perplexing problem. Imagine a hypersonic missile racing towards its intended target, propelled by tremendous velocity. While one could contemplate deploying another missile to intercept and neutralize the threat, such a feat is undoubtedly difficult. Hypersonic missiles travel at incredible speeds, typically exceeding Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. This tremendous velocity presents a considerable challenge for traditional interception methods, as the missile can cover vast distances in mere seconds. Moreover, hypersonic missiles operate under extremely tight margins, leaving very little room for error in their flight path and trajectory. Any slight deviation or disruption can have significant consequences and may render the missile ineffective. This high degree of precision required for interception adds to the complexity of the task. In addition to their speed and tight margins, Hypersonic missiles are designed to be highly maneuverable, capable of making sudden and unpredictable movements during flight. This exceptional maneuverability makes it difficult for conventional interceptors to track and engage the missile effectively. The missile's ability to change direction rapidly further challenges interception efforts. The intense heat generated during hypersonic flight poses another set of technical challenges for interception systems. The extreme temperatures experienced by the missile can affect the performance of traditional defensive measures, limiting their effectiveness. Finding materials and systems that can withstand these intense thermal conditions becomes crucial. Furthermore, the short reaction time to detect and respond to a hypersonic missile adds to the difficulty of interception. The time window to assess the threat, decide on a course of action, and launch a countermeasure is extremely limited. Rapid decision-making and precise execution are vital in attempting to intercept such high-speed threats. Here's where lasers come into play. A high-powered radiation beam directed at the missile can penetrate its antennae, effectively interfering with the navigation system and disrupting its intended flight path. In essence, precision becomes paramount. Accurate targeting is critical to dismantling these vulnerable missiles during their flight. However, it is essential to note that developing powerful lasers capable of effectively thwarting hypersonic missiles is still years away. Nevertheless, the United States Navy is fervently engaged in active research and development, determined to bridge the technological gap. The concerns surrounding the lead that China and Russia have established in hypersonic technology are valid. It is uncommon for the United States to find itself trailing behind Yet the current situation paints a different picture. However, a glimmer of hope emerges from Lockheed Martin's high-energy laser weapon, Helios. This directed energy weapon has become a top priority for the nation. At the same time, simultaneous efforts are underway to develop the United States' hypersonic missiles. The Pentagon has canceled two other major programs that could have served as potential defensive measures in favor of the missiles. This decision is evidence of the Pentagon's trust in the technology. As the United States navigates this complex realm of hypersonic warfare, it must acknowledge that the path to reliable and efficient laser systems remains a challenging journey. Even at that, it is staying strong in its commitment to bridging the gap in technology and taking back its top position. With a sharp focus and unwavering determination to overcome the problems ahead, the U.S. Navy is well-positioned to explore the true potential of lasers 
as a formidable weapon against hypersonic missiles. The U.S. Navy's unwavering pursuit of expansion and military preparedness takes center stage in its 2024 budget request. With a staggering proposal of $255.8 billion, an increase of $11 billion compared to the previous year, the Navy signifies its determination to bolster its fleet and reinforce its capabilities in the face of potential conflicts. The portion of the budget allocated for shipyard repairs and submarines is $2.73 billion. Recognizing the criticality of well-maintained shipyards, the Navy's investment ensures the operational readiness of its fleet. Furthermore, the focus on submarines, particularly the production of the second Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine, reinforces the Navy's commitment to maintaining a formidable undersea deterrent capability. The budget request also covers the acquisition of nine ships, amounting to $32.8 billion. This strategic allocation underscores the Navy's intent to increase its fleet size and operational capacity. By expanding its naval presence, the Navy solidifies its ability to project power and respond effectively to emerging threats across various theaters of operation. In addition, the budget proposal of the Navy includes funding for four types of missiles, the long-range anti-ship missile, the standard missile, the naval strike missile, and the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile. By investing in these sophisticated missiles, the Navy aims to enhance its offensive capabilities and establish a robust defense against potential adversaries. These formidable missiles are pivotal in countering threats, including anti-ship missiles and airborne hazards. A fundamental objective underlying the Navy's budget request is the shift towards becoming attack-ready rather than solely prioritizing arsenal expansion. The emphasis on fleet expansion, advanced weaponry, and shipyard repairs reflects a proactive strategy to assert dominance. By fortifying its capabilities across different domains, the Navy seeks to deter potential adversaries and ensure the security of the United States and its national interests. In short, the United States Navy's budget request for 2024 proves its commitment to future expansion. Through investments in the repair of shipyards, and in the acquisition of long-range missiles, submarines, and ships, the Navy looks to boost its operational capabilities and keep a strong position in the constantly changing global security landscape. These budgetary allocations emphasize the Navy's proactive role in preparing for potential conflicts and ensuring the United States remains at the forefront of naval power. The huge amount of money the U.S. Navy has spent was key in ensuring the United States is ready for potential challenges. The country has a large defense network owing to the presence of the USS Gerald R. Ford within a carrier strike group, accompanied by destroyers, cruisers, and submarines. The vessels are the first line of defense, armed with powerful onboard radars capable of detecting targets such as hypersonic missiles from distances above 200 miles. In cases where the threat is coming too close, the ships have surface-to-air missiles and the Navy's phalanx close-in weapon system. This system features radar-controlled 20mm six-barrel Gatling cannons that can fire up to 4,500 rounds per minute. However, the potential challenge of swarming drones calls for alternative defense measures, which is another area where lasers come into play. Lasers emit intense light by exciting atoms with electricity. This light is then trapped and amplified between mirrors, forming a narrow and highly concentrated beam. When directed towards a target, the laser delivers intense heat, creating holes in surfaces or interfering with the drone's sensors. Leveraging the nuclear reactors on the USS Gerald R. Ford, these lasers can fire tens of thousands of times, accurately targeting hypersonic weapons employed by the country's adversaries. One notable advantage of lasers is their cost-effectiveness. A high-powered laser can cost as little as $1 to $10 significantly less than the tens of millions required for defensive missiles. In fact, the Navy has already tested lasers successfully. In 2014, the USS Ponce was equipped with a 33-kilowatt ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system, which proved highly effective even at low power. During tests, the laser effortlessly destroyed replica cannons on an inflatable speedboat with minimal damage to the ship. While lasers have demonstrated their potential, 
Countering hypersonic missiles poses a more significant challenge. Standard lasers may not suffice against missiles traveling at speeds greater than Mach 5. To intercept such missiles effectively, a 300-kilowatt laser would suffice. This laser would require accuracy and sufficient power to penetrate the missile's tough nose. Research and development efforts are underway to develop lasers with the required capability. It's safe to say the U.S. Navy is steadfastly preparing to face threats from Russia and China by embracing technological advancements and strategic investments. Investing in new missiles, jets, warships, and laser defense systems showcases the Navy's dedication to maintaining national security and military superiority. The USS Gerald R. Ford, a remarkable symbol of American naval power, is a testament to the Navy's commitment to staying ahead of the curve. Its successful development and impending deployment mark a significant milestone, highlighting the Navy's perseverance in overcoming challenges. Ford's incredible size and advanced onboard systems solidify its position as a formidable asset within the U.S. Navy fleet. It forms a carrier strike group with other vessels responsible for sustaining air defense capabilities. Also, the Navy's unwavering pursuit of hypersonic missiles and laser defense systems demonstrates its dedication to keeping a strong, technologically advanced military. Through continuous advancements and substantial investments, the U.S. Navy aims to retain its position at the forefront of the ever-evolving landscape of modern warfare. Recognizing the lead held by Russia and China in hypersonic technology, the Navy is actively pursuing directed energy weapons, with a particular focus on Lockheed Martin's high-energy laser weapon, Helios. These advancements in laser technology offer cost-effective and precise solutions to counter the emerging threat of hypersonic missiles. With substantial investments in shipyard repairs, submarines, and long-range missiles, the U.S. Navy is shifting its strategy to become attack-ready, rather than solely focusing on expanding its arsenal. This proactive approach underscores its determination to safeguard national interests and maintain a position of strength in a rapidly evolving world. While we commend the efforts of the U.S. Navy, it is important to remain alert and adapt to the constantly changing technological landscape. To ensure a strong and secure future, we must engage in open discussions and welcome collaboration. The U.S. Navy's unwavering dedication to preparedness and technological advancement remains crucial for safeguarding the nation and its interests. Through forward-thinking strategies, cutting-edge weapons systems, and a commitment to constant improvement, the Navy stands ready to engage any threat. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.